Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, August 30th, and it's actually a really nice day today. It's uh, The high is only going to be in the 70s, uh, a little cloudy, but uh, plenty of sunshine. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying the day so far. I spent a lot of time out back this morning, uh, had a cigar and some coffee, and read the newspaper. Really just kind of took it easy. Uh, came down here and messed around in the shop a little bit. Uh, Smoking my Jay Mouton uh, with Haunted Bookshop, but when I was down here earlier, I had some uh, some Autumn Evening, Cornell and Dill Autumn Evening, which is one of the aromatics I, I enjoy, and I usually will smoke a bowl of that a couple times a month, uh, usually on a weekend morning when I'm down here working the shop. And then I went up, uh, my wife got up, and uh, she made a, a nice brunch for us, and I came back down here to make a video, and it smells like a pancake house here, so... <laughs> <laughs> Quite interesting. But yeah, it's a really nice day. I'm going to probably not do much more in the shop today. A little bit of cleanup. And might try to get a couple of uh, yard type things done. Uh, although I really kind of need a day off, so I don't know how much I'm going to do. Just recharging the batteries for, for the week ahead. Uh, so, a cup, couple of things. I, what I finished up this morning, I thought you might be interested in this. These are funny bits. Um, a friend of mine named Joe really enjoys these bits. Um, I think that's the right orientation for them. And they got this, this extra lip here on the bottom. And then on the top, there's the serration. And apparently, they're really good for folks that have dentures. Uh, so this is not a bit that I made from by hand uh, because it's rather complicated to, to make that and I don't know that I'll be able to make something to his liking. Uh, I told him that I could get the bits uh, pre prefabricated and he was okay with that and I made them to fit. This is a Morgan nose warmer. He, he has other pipes of this uh, this size, you know, the non-filtered Missouri Mission, but this is the only one that I have of this size. But, uh, you know, make it to fit this, it'll fit all of his pipes. And it, it's a lot of work in this, believe it or not. You know, it's, it sounds easy, but i got to turn the tenon down. Uh, there we go. He got two of them. Got to turn the tenon down, got to find a way to clamp this so that it's con running concentric. Turn the tenon down, then I re-drill it because the drilling on these is, is just a, a straight through and I want something tapered, so I re-drill it. Uh, funnel the airway up here and shape it to fit the shank of the pipe because it's, it's much too thick when it comes. And then sort of taper everything else into that. Uh, so, you know, it sounds like it would be a lot easier to start with a preformed blank and make your make your stem that way. Uh, I guess in some ways it is in terms of having the right tooling and everything, but the truth is it takes just about the same amount of time <laughs> to, to get it all worked out. Anyway, those will be going off in the mail uh, hopefully tomorrow. So Joe will be happy with those, I hope. Uh, what else is going on? So my wife came home, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, and she brought me presents. <laughs> I, I think I certainly win the prize for uh, Wife of the Year, assuming there is such a prize. So I'll put some pictures up here. She got me, uh, she went to Leaf and Bean, and Leaf and Bean is a cigar um, and coffee shop in, in Pittsburgh, in the, what's called the Strip District in Pittsburgh. And uh, she goes there every time she goes to Pittsburgh. It's funny, Leaf and Bean is where um, Island Jim uh, works out of. And Island Jim is the guy behind the Leaf Cigar. Um, they, they've been collaborations with him and uh, Blenders. So, like, there's Leaf by Oscar, and there's, there's a couple of other Leafs, and they're all under the Island Jim umbrella. So, uh, my wife actually knows Island Jim personally, and, you know, like, he says hello to her when he sees her. Uh, I've never seen the man in person, uh, but I just think it's funny that I'm the cigar smoker, and she's buddies with Island Jim. Anyway, she brought me a really nice uh, gift of cigars there, and I'm quite happy about that, and uh, really appreciate her for doing that for me. And 
she also, I believe she, she was in Virginia as well because her sister lives in Virginia. She spent a few days there and uh, I believe that's where she picked up uh, the wine that I'll put a picture in here. And I'm quite excited about this as well. Maybe not the finest vintage I've ever had, but it's going to be fun drinking that uh, during the debates. And I got the the, the bottle of bubbly there to uh, to save for November third. So happy about that. And again, I'm very grateful to my wife for for doing that. And it just shows that she gets me, and I I like that. The other thing I wanted to show off, we're doing a show-and-tell version of, of the weekend chats today. Boy, the smoke is getting bad in here, and I don't know why. I, have, I haven't changed anything. I still have the air cleaner running, but it, it just seems to be hanging around a lot more. You know, I'd have to get, uh, I said this the other day, I might have to get a fan to, uh, to move it away because it's starting to really mess up the, the image. Now you probably don't want to see me anyway. Uh, the other thing that I'm very grateful for is I was contacted by uh, my friend Brian, and I think Brian on YouTube goes by Brian Q. I might be wrong about that. Um, <clears throat> I'll check and, and uh, put it down in the description if I, if I am wrong. But Brian got in touch with me. Um, he lives up in Canada, and he said you know, he was a fly tire. He you know really enjoys fly fishing, but he doesn't tie flies anymore. And he had some material and asked me if I'd like it. And, you know, I said, sure. I never never turned down fly dyeing material. Um, and I was expecting, you know, a, a little envelope to come with some feathers and such in it. Well, what Brian sent me was a box, like, you know, a big box. Like that, maybe. Um, just packed with fly dyeing material. Uh, some materials that I've, I've, you know, I knew what they are, but I've never had them. Uh, like guinea hen, I've, I've just never had a need for it, but I can't wait to try to find some patterns where I can use it. Uh, all sorts of, of feathers and furs and, and uh, lots of uh, yarns and things like that, and I use a lot of yarns in my fly tie. I'm just super excited about this. It was so kind of uh, Brian to do it. But he threw in two vices, which really surprised me, and... You guys don't know this because it, it's, you know, this is a pipe channel and I don't really talk about my fly fishing or fly tying all that much. <clears throat> Although I might change that. I might start doing a little, little fly tying on, on YouTube. Uh, but he, I, I collect Thompson vices. I, I've uh, been doing this for a long time now. I don't have, you know, I don't like collect 20 at one vice. I, I just, I just wanted to get one of each one in the series. And the Thompson Vices were lettered. The most common one, if you're familiar with the Thompson Vice, is probably the Thompson A. And I have one of those, and I've got knockoffs of those. And actually, the one of the vices he sent me was a Sunrise Vice, which is a, a version of the Thompson A. Very nice with a material clip and everything. It's a great, great-looking vice. But the other one uh, is a Thompson C, and I did not have a Thompson C. I had the A, the B... Uh, the E, the F, and the G. I don't think I had the C or the D. Um, I, it's been a while since I've looked at these. One of one of those is is a different mounting version of, of the other, so I never really wanted to look for that. But the C was the one that I was really hoping to get. And it's not that they're you know terribly rare, but you know it, it's it's not something that I. I like to wait for them to come to me, basically. I like to see them at a yard sale or something like that. I don't like to just go out on eBay and find them. Anyway, this vice came to me, and it's in beautiful condition. It is a Thompson C, and it's got the uh, clamp-on mount, so you can clamp this to the edge of your table. This uh, foundation is just rock solid. It's a cast iron um, frame. It does not move at all. Similar to the Thompson B, which is actually my favorite fly tying vice. Uh, I know people would find that odd uh, because it's it's lacking in so many features that the modern vices have. But man, if you want something that's just going to grab onto your hook and not move, the Thompson B is it. And looking at this, I think the Thompson C might be a, a close uh, 
contender for that as well. And I'll show you how this works. So hopefully you can see there's a slot there. It looks almost like a flathead screw. I'll try to show it on end here. If I can get that to focus a bit better. It doesn't want to focus a bit better. Well, anyway, there's a slot in here. I think it was easier to see that way. And when I turn this, that slot closes up. And it, it closes up very nicely. So this is going to have some, some really good holding power. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying it out. Uh, Thompson C. Thank you, Brian. I'm, I'm really thrilled to have this in my collection. So now I'm going to have to do a video on my vice collection, and I'm going to have to do videos on fly tying and all that, which I, I've been thinking about for a while. I got, you know that area in the pipe section of the shop where I do videos sometimes? I got that area with the wall with the eagles uh, thing on it. I want to put a desk you know, against that wall, and it'll be multi-purpose, but one of the things I could do there is, is some fly tying. So that's the... That's the plan if I ever have time to actually work on the shop instead of work in the shop. And to that end, uh, we're getting there. I am uh, real close to being caught up, which I'm happy about. And what I think I'm going to be doing... See, the problem for me is if, I, if I've got 15 pipes in, in my shop, and I can only work on one at a time. That means that there's 14 people that are just sitting there waiting. Um, and granted, some of those 15 pipes are going to be groups. You know, some people send me three pipes or four pipes, but but you get the idea. There, there's going to be a lot of people that are just waiting. And if I'm if I get busy, if um, one of the pipes turns out to be particularly challenging, you might be waiting for months to get your pipe back. You might be okay with that, but it makes me nervous. You know, I don't want people thinking that I'm, I don't care about them, that I'm not uh, giving their pipe attention. Uh, it's, it's not true, but, but I don't want people thinking that regardless. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a model where I'm going to have a waiting list. And if you want to get on that waiting list, that's fine. When I finish up a pipe, I will contact the first person on that list. If they would like to still send me their pipe, great, I'll work on it. And when I finish with that pipe, I will then contact the next person on the list. This way, it keeps my stress level low. It'll give me time to do some other things. Your wait might be a little bit longer than it normally would be, but if you know I decide to go on vacation for two weeks or something, your pipe isn't just sitting here in a drawer. It's, uh, it's in your hands. So that's the plan. Um, my hope is that that will also give me some time to focus on some other things that I've been wanting to do. And you'll be seeing some evidence of that in, uh, in the next month or so. And there you have it. i got to tell you, I've, I've had this pipe for, I guess, a month or two now. This has very quickly become one of my favorite pipes. I mean, it, it's it's a great looking pipe. There's no no debating that. But the engineering of it, Jason really has the engineering down. Um, it, the draw is perfect. And as it's um, building cake, it's starting to come into its own. It hasn't reached that magic 70 bowls uh, sort of point yet, but it's it's getting there, and that's that's all I can ask of it. But I'm pretty happy with it. So, last thing I want to talk about today is uh, if you were around last Wednesday at at noon, you know, I did a uh, sort of test live stream, and the reason I'm doing this is I'm I'm trying to get 
I'm trying to do some things that'll make the Friday night live streams better. And to do that, I needed different hardware and different software. I thought I had it all worked out. And things went really well on Wednesday. I used it, uh, got good reports on the audio quality, the video quality. I watched it after the fact, and it looked good to me and sounded good. The only problem is, for reasons I do not understand, YouTube did not save the live chat. And that bothers me because I think the live chat is an important part of the live stream. So I will not be using that until I can figure out why that happened. Uh, maybe it was just a glitch, but I'm going to go through the process again. Maybe this Wednesday. I, I, I can't say for certain because it's going to depend on my work schedule, whether I have the time to get things set up or not. But keep an eye out. You might get a notification Wednesday morning or so that I'm going to do a lunchtime live stream. It'll just be a test. It'll be, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. If a lot of people show up, maybe I'll, I'll go for an hour just chatting and, uh, you know, sharing a pipe and spending some time together. No, no agenda other than to test out the, the equipment and the, the software. So, if that happens, I'll look forward to seeing you there. If not, I'll look forward to seeing you this Friday. And this Friday, we originally were scheduled to have uh, Jeremy Reeves from Cornell and Deal. Unfortunately, Jeremy had a conflict come up. He had to go to Louisiana to pick out Perique, and you know, I, I, I told him Perique's important, so <laughs> I'm more than happy to be put on the back burner for Perique. So he wants to reschedule. He, he, he was very disappointed, as I was, um, but understanding. Uh, so he wants to reschedule, and we're going we're gonna to try to get him rescheduled as soon as we can. But Everett Young was nice enough to step in and, and offer to, to join us next Friday. So this coming Friday, we'll, we'll be having a chat with Everett Young. And uh, that'll be great. Everett's a really good guy and uh, knows, knows a fair amount about pipes and an awful lot about tobacco. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to spending some time with him. Well, folks, I think that's about everything I had, and my bowl is coming to an end, so I'll take that as my cue to let you all get off and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a great week ahead, and until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.